Ladies and gentlemen, your next contest here at ESW Retaliation is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Which is the first. One fall! Wow, I have our next contest here at ESW Retaliation. We've got Jimmy Jacobs taking on Gregory Iron, which I'm not sure if this is actually a drag match or what the hell's going on here. I have no clue, Scotty. I've, never, I've seen one guy dressed up. What's wrong, Jimmy? Is there something, is there something different about this? I mean, I know that you, you usually love to wear dresses, so I figured why not, right? You like to get weird? We can get weird. You want to play mind games? We can have mind games, pal. Because tonight, you're not dealing with Gregory Iron. You're dealing with the handicapped queen. Wow! Gregory Iron declaring himself the handicapped queen tonight. And he will take on the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. A princess versus a queen in a men's match. This is 2018 in the nutshell, Scotty. But one man who didn't come out wearing a dress or a wig, Roscoe Black on the outside, and Jimmy Jacobs has got to be very aware that he's out there. He's the X Factor. He's the X Factor backing up where we are as of late. I'll, I'll give credit to referee uh, Richard Head. He did not come out dressed as a woman. Though, so that's, that's one positive, I guess. He just waits till after the shows. I wasn't going to go there, Scotty. Richard Hedge, your referee, in this very interesting high-profile match here at Retaliation. Gregory Iron still sporting the wig, though. And the lipstick taking on the Zymie Princess, Jimmy Jacobs. Let's go behind now, both men. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gregory Iron definitely getting a little weird here early on in this contest. For those of you who have been at several ESW shows, all we need now is for Brian Christopher to come to the ring. That will make it complete. Again, Gregory Iron taking on the persona of the handicap queen here tonight. Again, Jacobs with a go behind. Oh, now rubbing up Gregory Iron. Returning the favor. But Iron, though. Oh, kiss him right on the hand. The princess deserves a kiss on the hand, Scotty. Nothing wrong with that. He's not going to wash that hand for a long time. I mean, I'm the princess. You should quit. You should kiss him. I'm the queen. I'm going to kiss him. Oh, no, right hand by Jimmy Jacobs. Wait a minute. 
Gregory Irons was wearing a wig, Scotty. You didn't know that? No, I just thought he let his hair grow out. And colored it. There too, yeah, but still. Well, he had to be fooled. Huh. And I'm sure some of the... Standing... Oh, no! What is going on? Now, Irons just... Right to left to the back of Jacobs. I was just driving that shoulder right into the midsection of Jacobs in the corner. Let's get back to wrestling here. Both these men have been tag team specials. Wow, big forearm by Jimmy. Jimmy, a five-time Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion, Scotty. Greg Yards has held several tag team titles, including with Zach Gowan, another handicapped hero. I mean, no kidding aside, outside of the little the weirdness here, I mean, we've got a very high-profile profile match here at ESW. We've got Harry Iron, we got Jimmy Jacobs. And Roscoe Black just pulled Greg Yards out of the ring. Oh, now Jacobs to the outside with the right hand. Now just firing. Again, close right hands, and now Iron comes back. Shot right to the midsection, now walks Jacobs over. Left hands. Just walking Jacobs around the ring here. Oh, and then a knife that's shot right to the throat. Richard Head laying down the 10 count. Trying to get both these men back into the confines of the squared circle. Now Jacobs, out oh, reversal! Throwing Iron face first into the ring apron. Now tosses him back in. See, Jimmy will break the count. Wait a minute, look. Bosco Black being warned, admonished by referee Richard Hunt. Oh, an iron though! Taking advantage of the distraction by Rosco Black. Kangaroo kick right to the outside, catches Jacobs, and again, action still. On the outside now, both men enter back into the ring, and now, oh! Bex, Santan by Iron. Only a two. Well, you know, I don't think mind games is trying to play into it. It's going to work. I mean, Jimmy knows how to play the mind games. Gary Iron knows how to play the mind games. And if you know how to play the mind games, you're probably ready when someone tries to play them with you. So, as you alluded to earlier, cut away the costumes, cut away the trash talk, and it turns into a match between two very good wrestlers. Could have said it better myself, Ivan. Uh, now, Iron, you probably could have. Now Iron just measuring Jacobs again, the southpaw. Oh no, stiff chop right across the chest to Jacobs. Oh, a chop by Jacobs. Almost taking the dress right off of Iron. And then catches him with a knee, stopping the attack out of the corner by Jacobs. Now Iron walking Jacobs over. Trying to choke him on that middle rope. Oh, now just using all of his weight as he chokes Jacobs. And just trying to cover him up with that dress. Being suffocated by a dress. I'm sure it's happened before, but not in the wrestling ring. And now Iron measuring Jacobs, who's still hung up. Oh, and that just kicks him on a rope, which retracts back right into the throat of Jacobs. That steel metal rope. He's hanging in there with Jimmy Jacobs. I mean, Jacobs is more of the marquee. Do you know he used to work for WWE until recently? Yes, I was aware of that. Yeah. He was a writer. I didn't know WWE employed writers, Scotty, but he's still he's still a young man by wrestling standards. He's got plenty of plenty of gas left in the tank, but if Gregory Yarns keeps trying to choke him out like this, that's not gonna last. Trying to cut off that wind, the air supply, on that windpipe of Jacobs. Now Irons again coming off the roads, and this time oh went to the well too often! Gets scratched on that middle rope. You can see Iron is just grimacing in pain. And it's got to be uncomfortable wearing a dress on top of this guy. I, I, we're getting a view here that we really don't want. So. Now Jacob's trying to mount a comeback, but Iron again. Driving the top of his head right into the jaw of Jimmy Jacobs. And now rushes in all full force. Oh, but Jacobs, though, presence of mind. Catches him with a double boot. Now draws him in. Jacobs. Oh, nice move there. Uses the momentum from that middle rope with a snap suplex. 
Catching iron. He should cover him right there. He's down, down. Cover him. This just goes to show the... The attack by Iron, what's taken out of Jacobs. Yeah, I, Jimmy, I don't know if he knew that Gregory Iron was down. He should have, if he went, mounted that pin attempt sooner, probably would have got the three count. Now Jacobs calling for Iron to get to his feet. Iron looks like he was on Dream Street, but no! Passes Jacobs by, comes rushing in, oh! With that Larry into the corner. And now, holding up the butterflies. Oh, no, no, Roscoe Black up to the top. Now assisting Gregory Iron, putting those butterflies back on his back. I guess that's not outside interference, putting butterflies in the roster. I don't think the New York State Athletic Commission has addressed that issue, Scotty. No. Oh, he's, he needs those wings to fly! As he's going up to the top rope here at St. Johnsburg, Jacobs flat on his back in the middle of the ring. Iron is gonna fly. Here he goes. Out oh, of water in the pool. Jacobs out of the way. Oh, Cutter. Jacobs Cutter. The cover. One, two, three. Oh. He tried to float like a butterfly, but he did not sting like a bee. No, he did not. Now, Richard had helping. Gregory Iron with his wardrobe. Again, Iron took a little too much time with that top rope elbow. Just enough for Jacobs to get out of the way and then deliver that cutter, but unable to put Iron away. Now both men again back to their feet. Now exchanging fisticuffs. Now it's becoming a war of attrition, Scotty. Both men are worn out, and the first man to make a mistake could be the loser in this match. Richard Head right on top of the action. Again, each man just exchanging, throwing the lumber. Jacobs looks like he's starting to get the best of Iron, but then Iron to go right to the eyes. Stopping any momentum that Jacobs had. As he was just firing those right hands. Oh, no, he's, it's like a hockey fight. Instead of pulling the jerseys, pulling the dress right over. Jeremy Iron, he can't see. It's like Rob Ray pulling the jersey over the opponent in an NHL fight, Scotty. Well done by Jimmy Jacobs. Who's a native of Detroit? Maybe he's a Red Wings fan. Picking up and watching Gordy Howe earlier in his career. And now Jacobs putting on the, the butterfly wings. Iron having a heck of a time trying to get that dress off of him. Up of his face, he can't see. Now Jacobs, it's his turn. To the top. Touching the ceiling. Where butterflies fly, oh! Drops the elbow, cover, two, no! But I have to think, if you're used to jumping off the top rope, wouldn't the butterfly wings change your style? You're not used to that much elevation. I thought they would keep you more elevated. Yeah, that's, and the, the body's not used to it, so. But then again, I'm trying to use logic in a match between two people. One dressed as a princess and the other dressed as a woman. The queen, I'm sorry, the queen. Jacobs now calling for Iron to get to his feet. Iron looks a little worse for wear. Here comes, oh wait, oh! Iron just caught him driving his knees right in the face of Jacobs, no! I don't know where Scotty Bender, if you take this in by Iron, Jacobs didn't have time to see it coming. And it was almost a three count. Grabbing Jacobs, leaving his feet and driving those knees right into the face of Jacobs. But again, another near fall here. Both men unable to put the other man's shoulders down for a three count. Jacobs still wearing the butterflies against Iron. Oh, it comes in! Drives Jacobs' face right into the canvas, but not going for the three count. A little surprised. Looks like he could have went for the win here. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's, he certainly is after that view. Was he curtsying to the crowd, Scotty? Is that what they call, is that what the kids call these days? Curtsying? No, I don't think they call it curtsying. That was two generations ago, maybe. Well, let's just say it was curtsying and leave it at that. Oh. I'm not done with you, princess. I'm just going to call it uncomfortable, okay? Whatever you want to call it, I think. Mean. 
And now just getting right into the face, really giving it to Jimmy Jacobs verbally. Just screaming at him. Taunting. Oh, and now just slaps him right in the face. Asking Jacobs, what do you got? And now he got nothing, Scotty. He got nothing. And now Jacobs just staring down. Iron. Both men. Oh, wait a minute. Jacobs just laid a smacker right on the lips of Iron. Oh, Gore. 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 Cover. It's over. No comment, Scotty. No comment. Jimmy Jacobs won. Jimmy Jacobs, your winner. Iron. I think he's going to throw up Gregory Iron. He won't be the only one throwing up in this building. Roscoe Black doesn't know what to do. Jimmy Jacobs planted a long, long, deep kiss right under the mouth of Gregory Iron. Gregory Iron didn't know what the hell to do. And then he gets hit with the gore, the spear. Jimmy Jacobs, your winner. What a match, Scotty. What a match. Oh, finally, Roscoe Black. Give him some water to iron so he can wash his mouth out. Get the camera out of his face. Don't, 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 don't.